Oh my goodness, look at all this. A lot of clothes, a lot. Welcome back everyone to Skincare and Beauty with Perky Perkins. So today on my channel, I am so excited and scared all at the same time because I'm gonna be doing my first ever clothing haul. I personally don't really shop much for clothing items in general because personally, I'm very insecure when it comes to shopping or trying on clothes, especially in public. For those of you that don't know, unless you have been following me on Instagram for some time, I had quite a journey throughout my life where I used to, at one point in my life, I weighed 325 pounds. That was at age 20. So again, I've been a roller coaster of sizes and weights throughout my life. Again, from the age of 20 down to now 35, I went from 325 to 185 now. And in the last two years actually, um, because two years ago I decided to really focus and try to lose more weight um, and get to a more healthier lifestyle because I was told if I didn't, I would be type two diabetic. And, you know, I've been straddling that for quite some time. And as the older you get, the more prone you are to be type two diabetic if you don't control your weight and your diet. So in the last two years, I lost about 45, 50 pounds. Again, I straddled those five pounds at the end because you know, you binge eat a few days, if whatever. So anyway, so, but in those two years, I haven't really purchased much for myself. I, when I go shopping to the stores, I'm always grabbing stuff for my kids, for my husband, for family, whomever, you know, but I don't really get stuff for myself. And for, the last like couple months since we've been home in quarantine i decided i've been keeping an eye looking at youtube videos because i've been really interested in sheen i'm like i see their prices their stuff looks pretty good overall so i felt why not i finally found a youtuber that looked like she had a similar body type to me and when she mentioned her size which just so you're aware i'm a u.s 10 12 it depends if there's any stretch because i got big old hips and broad shoulders but i'm a 10 12 um usually medium tops large bottoms again i'm very hippy um and thick old legs and thighs so when she mentioned hers and she did her haul i was like okay i feel more comfortable now making my purchase so literally so on memorial day weekend i they had a really good sale running and i placed this humongous order of clothing mostly summer stuff basically um a lot of shorts t-shirts active wear i guess you could call it with some day wear as well um i ordered a lot of accessories and a few little things here and there for the house as well but I ordered this Memorial Day, no joke. Within a matter of days, I had tracking. In less than two weeks, I had an entire order come from China. Because that's what it says, China on my label, to my home, which is an absolute miracle. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up in my Shein haul, again, um, please stay tuned. I will be trying and attempting my best to try on the clothing because I'm in still in a kind of tight space. I will try my best. And But if you want to see the rest of the items I picked up during the Sheen haul, stay tuned and keep on watching. Let's go, you guys. All right. So once I actually start changing my clothes, I'm gonna um, do a voiceover just so you're aware in advance. So the first item again is this uh, cute romper that I picked up. 
overall, I do like the material. It feels actually really comfortable. Um, I just don't, it's a mommy thing, but you know, our mommy pouch, I don't like that. I feel if I could, if I could find my chunky belt, I could hide it a little bit better. But again, the length is really nice. I do like how the comfort here, arms, not so much, but I could deal with it. I could, you know, I could do something. I like the buttons. I just, I don't like how it feels puffy right here. Like, I figured the first thing I'd do is show you guys this outfit and then the accessories and then I'll go to the rest of the clothes. I picked up a ton of headbands because I hate having my bangs and just little hairs on my face. And for example, these right here were in either two packs or three packs and they were retailing anywhere from $2.99 to $3.99. That makes it like a dollar a piece, a dollar 25 plus because I spent over a hundred dollars, I got an additional 20% off coupon from Shein. So it was worth it. And I'm cheap. I don't like, I don't want to spend personally 10, 15, $20 on a headband at the stores. I just think it's excessive. I know some of them are probably way better quality by all means. I just don't want to spend it. So here's this one. This is actually really cute. Like these are very trendy right now. I love this cafe style. Let me take off my glasses. What do you guys think? I think this is actually really cute. Again, this is only $2.99 and it came in a two pack. And then an additional 20%, you know, why not? And these are neutral colors, so they will pretty much fit anything I put on. Ooh, this one's super cute too so i like that so my daughter already took one there was a, a light gray in this bundle right here not the little knot on the top and again kind of like a coral pink and this one this one looks so cute see that's really pretty and the three pack on this was $3.99 now this one's a little crooked like right here but again for $3.99 i can fix it because i've seen something similar at ulta for $7.99 including target see fixed this is like the most expensive headband i actually picked up i think this is $3.99 on its own it has these little um these little glitter thingies I forgot what it's called I'm sorry and it's flexible enough see and that's another funny thing with a lot of the headbands I've tried in store my head tends to hurt like they're too tight these are very flexible where my head doesn't hurt same with my daughter that's the first thing she commented she's like wow mom they're not hurting my temples so if you have a big head like me these are very flexible and they fit look and then another three pack for me I love orange tones if you could tell with the eye look I did today and I really been gravitating to this type of style like I think it's super cute and then it also came with these two And it's a, it's a very neat material. It's kind of ribbed. This is very cute. I also picked up this little like bracelet. Honestly, I don't really wear jewelry. Growing up, I used to have like a little bracelet just like this that had my name engraved. I don't know what happened to it. Whoa, they actually fit. But look at that. I have 
thick wrist, you guys, just so you know. I have very thick wrists um, compared to the average woman um, and tiny little baby hands. So this is incredible that they fit. And this little bundle was a couple bucks also. Like here's like another little one. Again, I don't have really stuff like this. I don't really wear jewelry. Like I kind of have to be forced to um, at times, but I just wanted something cute. Lord. Ooh, I made it fit. Look at that. Super cute. I'll keep that on. Look at this big guy. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. A lot of clothes, a lot. Like I mentioned, some things from my house. I saw these on Pinterest first. These actually go in your refrigerator and you could put like dry goods or wet goods, whatever, and it seals it. So I thought this was so neat when I found them on their site. And then this guy, you could put beverages. So I thought this was really cool. And this is for like a planter. So this is to hang a planter or anything like that. Um, and I found this cute little plant. Like this little guy was like a buck, I wanna say. And I got it for my Instagram pictures. Bought some before, but if I could spend a dollar for something like this, again, it's just for pictures, it's for vanity. So I'm gonna take the cute. last household item and then I begin more try on. So I do apologize. I've been seeing these all over the internet and I found this on Pinterest. So you put this, you know, on your wall, however way you want it. So you put this on the wall and then you could put any decorative things. So I thought that was really cute to put downstairs or maybe eventually I'll put it up here next to picture frames. So, yeah. All right, so now let's begin trying on more clothing. This cold shoulder romper was just a no-go from the very beginning it just it looked horrible it felt horrible and it's cheap material for this top it has kind of like the athletic wear material but it's so comfortable and it's nice and thick now for the shorts the shorts are very comfortable and i liked how they're a little loose at the thighs so it made it a little bit easier for me so i really like them and back to this shirt it has that same type of jersey material so i really like it and it's cute this is kind of like a very thin cotton material which i really like the blouse it's so cute it's just really thin so you can see through it it's okay now this is totally me everyone knows me i do copy first and the shorts same thing they're very nice they're very comfy so i like them and this cotton shirt is very cute i thought it was adorable um it's just again very thin material these shorts were surprisingly freaking cute oh my god i cannot believe they fit and they look so adorable i was totally feeling myself when my husband walked in he goes they look so pretty so i definitely love those this top is cute this is the orangey tones i love right now and it's so comfortable and it's spacious um so i'm glad i picked up a large on this guy these military style uh long shorts are super nice i wish i would have picked up more colors on this one in particular it's very stretchy very comfortable and you couldn't see through them that much now this one on the other hand for some reason, I thought it was going to be the other type of material. They're so comfortable and everything, but I could see through them, so I didn't like that. I mean, it's okay. I'll make them work, especially for summer, but it's that biker, you know, velvety biker material. These shorts, oh my god, are so short, I could see my booty. I do not like them whatsoever, and even they're short in the back. Another pair of shorts. I got a lot of shorts, you guys these are super comfortable they actually have more flexibility in the bottom and again this shirt fits me to a t crazy coffee lady this two-piece i'm pleasantly surprised i actually got it because of the shorts they're very cute but the top fits actually well 
and I have this cute little um, blazer to put on top of it so I'm very pleasantly surprised so this floral dress I'm really surprised of how it fit it's a nice wrap dress and it's so comfortable it's meant to be high-waisted and it goes down long so I'm really happy it worked I just need a pin all right you guys so we are done oh my god that was the longest i think i've ever tried on clothes in general again i'm not used to buying this much clothes for myself typically i buy one two things here and there never this much i will say out of everything well for starters excuse <laughs> i'm it's so hot in this room at this point. I just needed to put up my hair and, you know, get my, and get comfortable because it's just so hot in this room at this point. But as I was saying, overall, I'm actually, all the sports or athletic wear, I'm really happy with it actually. Um, all the shorts, except for one, which was odd, was the the shorter army shorts those were like boom booty shorts I, I i didn't expect that i thought they were the longer ones um just different material you know what i mean so i will be returning those um also the that blue stripe oh my god like it felt like i was wearing a diaper like it was weird I have another blue stripe which had a spaghetti strap and I thought oh it'll be fine it looks wide dude I couldn't get it up my ass like this guy right here it looked like it was gonna fit um, when I got it and I, I'm like oh it's stretchy I tried it on you know I put it against my waist I didn't think of the fact that there's no zipper on this guy right here so of course when I'm trying to lift it up my butt it doesn't go up so this was a no-go which was a bummer because I really love like the this type of like pinstripe style I do like this type of designs in my clothing um, I was really looking forward to one of the two working out for me because it looks just so pretty I'm gonna see if maybe they have an XL so I can go up my butt and so this i didn't even bother trying it on when i got my box i was pulling things out just to count and make sure everything was delivered and online i should have read the description but i only saw that the shirt said cotton i didn't realize the pants were this pleather diaper type of material they look so pretty it was like you know a white and pink jumpsuit i'm like oh my god that would be so perfect for the summer i sweat so much there's just no way i'm going to keep this so i'm going to return this as well again i'm going to see if i could find something else it's odd most of the items that i don't like or didn't fit well were the more expensive ones of the bunch and um but yeah like overall almost every single thing fit again as i was mentioning during the video some of the shirts like these cotton shirts they're very lightweight and kind of transparent i mean so i have to have a lighter color bra which is weird because i'm wearing you know a light one right now so i had to figure something out so it's not so transparent but they feel really nice and the, the striped shirts, the ones I put in the beginning, those look kind of like jersey shirts, if you know what I mean, like that type of material, but they felt so comfortable though that I really liked them. Um, again, I'm just kind of bummed that not all my uh, rompers fit, like it, it's a real shame. I guess I have to go up a size or just stick to two pieces because my ass is not gonna, fit in in my case um i was pleasantly surprised if you saw the the red two-piece i had actually opened that when it arrived because i was in fear of it not fitting from the very beginning um because it said you know when i yeah it, i was just fearful it wouldn't fit so 
I was very happy when I saw it fit. It's very fitted, it's nice. So hopefully someday soon, you know, I could have a date night and go out with my husband. It would be nice. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, have you guys tried anything for from Shein? Um, if you have, what was your experience? So the biggest thing I would recommend for Shein, for starters, as I mentioned in the beginning, in I'm usually a 10-12 in the US and uh, large bottoms, medium tops. I literally went up a size on everything. So I went large across the board. I guess I didn't think about the fact that my bottoms were large already. So I should have gone to an extra large for the rompers so that they fit properly. Um, so that would be my biggest suggestion is the fact that, hey, if you're gonna purchase some Shein, make sure you up a size, um, maybe even two, depending on what the material is. If it's cotton, something stretchy, I don't think it's a big deal, you know? But if it's like a romper like I had, you need to make sure to up one, if not two sizes. Um, but overall again my experience from the beginning to end was actually really pleasant everything came really fast now we'll see what happens when i have to do returns slash exchanges because i've never dealt with that before again this is one of the things i don't usually like one of the reasons why i don't like doing online shopping especially for places that don't have physical stores um, so I hope it all goes well. I'll leave it in the comments, you know, but yeah, thank you guys all so very much for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Again, let me know if you guys have tried anything and if so, what? Thank you. Goodbye.